What's all this, you ask? In today's video, we're getting back to the basics with stamps and inks. Stay tuned. Hi, welcome to my channel. I'm going back to basics. We are going to learn a little bit about the different kind of stamps and the different type of inks and what I have in my stash. First and foremost are my woodblock stamps. I have much more than this, but I took them to my Sunday school. Little ones, big ones, everything in between. And as I'll explain a little bit later, these are basically cling stamps just mounted on wood to give you something to, to use to apply the pressure. Now with the other stamps, we have acrylic blocks that we put them on. But I use these, still use these quite a bit. And the next group of stamps is cling stamps. And these are the rubber stamps, but not mounted on wood. An example of this would be the Stampin' Up Lo Lovely as a Tree. See that the rubber, and you would take this off, this piece, and glue it to the wood. And then we have photopolymer. Ha! Photopolymer. And this is an example of the newer set. You can tell the difference. They changed the look a little bit. Bells are ringing. I have the dies and the stamps. And this is the ones that we put on the acrylic block. Like so. Now, they say if you have never used a stamp before, you might just want to put your fingers on it to get rid of the residue from the manufacturer and it will hold the ink better. Let me give you an example of that. I am using Versifying Claire ink, and that is an example of the photopolymer. Let's go back and do an example of the wood block. I'm using Memento Lux, and I will go over these in detail. This is a wood block. And there you go. It does take practice with stamping. And these also use a special tool if you want to be able to stamp it again to make sure you get a really good impression. And I will go over that later. Okay, now let's, those are the main stamps. We've got the wood mount, we've got the cling, and we've got the clear. Okay. So the inks, the one I just used Versifying Claire. This is a newer product. I have a few, not a lot. And they are from the Tsukineko line, as are 
my Memento Lux. The Memento Lux Tuxedo Black. And in this, I have rich cocoa also. But these can be used with alcohol markers. And I'll go over those as far as our uh, coloring media is concerned in another video. These, as you can see, they're very clear. They transfer the ink well. You don't have anything much left on the stamp. And then we have the Memento, and they are also Sukuneko brand. These come in little, they call it dewdrop or cat's eyes. And I have several of those, not a whole lot. And then I have a couple of Gina K Design Craft and a uh, light purple. And these are dye inks. And then the, my Delicata Silver, White Shimmer, and then Gold. I have a little, little stamp pads here. It's called the Delicata 4. Gold, silver, copper, and what do we have? Celestial copper, bronze burst, silvery shimmer, and golden glitz. Now, the Stampin' Up, this is their new design. You just open it like you would a compact. And we'll slide it out. And then, this is Early Espresso. Now, of course, I have probably 15 colors of the old style. Push like that, open like that, and then slide out. Apparently, yeah, it's a little more complicated So I think that's why they went to the compact style. And of course, you have to have your reinkers. This is a Stampin' Up reinker for my perfect plum and garden green. And this is a stays on refill. I don't think I have any more stays on. And the reason I don't is because stays on will um, it will stain your photopolymer stamps unless you get the, there's a special cleaner I believe but I just never bothered with it and this is for my rich cocoa uh, memento lux and then this is the tuxedo black I do a lot of uh, coloring with my alcohol markers, so I use this quite a bit. And then, um, along with the Sukuneko, this is Versafine Black. And it is, it's also used for fine detail. One more ink I almost forgot about, Versamark. This is a watermark stamp pad. It is clear and sticky, and it is used for heat embossing. And I will go over that in a later video. All right, now I'm going to go over a couple of the tools that I use. And this first one is called a stamp -a jig it is really popular. It's from the company Inca Dinka Do, and you use it for your woodblock stamps, or I do anyway. It comes with this imaging sheet, and I I already stamped the image sort of. <laughs> so you you stamp you line it up, and you stamp you put it in the snug fit in the corner. You see that? You, you put 
you put the sheet to the corner of the of the uh, stampin' a jig, then you put your wood block up against the corner, and then you stamp, and then you take this to your project and say, I want to stamp in the middle here. You put the paper here. You put your stampin' a jig here, and then you reink. You stamp. Oh, here you take that away. Stamp. Okay, and say obviously that didn't come out right. So that didn't come out dark enough. You leave the stamp of my jig where it is, and then you ink up your stamp again. You put it flush against the top of the stamp of my jig. You push down and you are directly over the exact same place you were. No muss, no fuss. It really is a good little tool, especially for the wood block stamps. Now, I want to show you the homemade thing. This is a stamp positioner. There are several out on the market, but I made my own. This is an Ikea photo frame. And I just bought magnets online. These round ones are just Amazon. And then these two are from Stampin' Up! Because they have their own stamp positioner also. So this is a piece of acrylic. Uh, this did not come with the photo frame itself. I had this made and put in to be firmer. And then this is just... Some Stampin' Up! grid paper. And that's all I put on here. It works for the cling stamps and it works for the photopolymer. So you put it where? Let me find my piece of paper. Okay. You put it down. You put this where you think you want it. You use magnets to hold it down. So ideally, so it doesn't interfere with your paper, with the stamp. And then you close it over. I'm just kind of rub it to make sure it stays on. And then you ink it up. Let's see, what color should I use? I use the, the Green Oasis from Versifying Player. Make sure it's covered well. And you stamp down. And that's pretty clear because it is Versifying Player. But it stays in the same position. So you can go over it again. And get a really crisp image but like I said if the right inks will do that job for you pretty well the first all the versifines are very good about that let's do a cling um, I have a sentiment here enjoy your special day Let's put this down a little more so you can see. There we go. Okay. Same thing. I'm going to push to make sure it gets on. Be, this is thinner than the cling. So make sure to give it a whoop. Now see. Uh, oh, okay. Some of these stamps are old. I'll have to get a newer one. Here's one from Star of Light Shine. It's stickier. It has never been used before. Like I said, you want to just get that manufacturer's residue off. Make sure it... Pick it up. 
Let's see how sticky that was. The paper almost came up too. So let's do this in pink. First Frank Claire pink. Okay. See? Oh, wait a minute. Oh, I do have a magnetic sheet behind here. I do have the magnetic sheet behind here, but I did not want to put anything so thick on there that it wouldn't it wouldn't stick. Now these are no problem. These magnets from Stampin' Up are very strong. And these are strong, but not so much that I wanted to add more cushioning under here. But the cling stamps, that's not a problem at all. So anyway, because they are so strong, you want to like put washi tape on them so you can pull them up and apart from each other. I got these two caught. And I don't know what I did with the other one. I got them stuck together and they all, uh, that was awful. So put washi tape on them for sure. So you have something to grab. If you got value from today's video, I would love for you to subscribe and maybe hit that notification bell. And I am also going to be including a playlist of my other Back to Basic videos, so you might want to watch those. Thank you so much for joining me, and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.